today we decided to uh, ask um, Yuri, uh, Yuri Gubin, who is our Chief Innovation Officer, um, about Data Art Labs. Uh, Data Art Labs is uh, something that we are about to announce, but in reality, it's not exactly something entirely new, isn't it, Yuri? Yeah, it is not, and it is based on our experience and how we used to work with our clients, how we used to innovate. It's the next very logical step in the same journey. Is it, is it something that we already had? Because I know this question has been asked around by a lot of people. I mean, I certainly have been asked at least half a dozen times. So is Data Art Labs something completely new? Is it something that uh, is built on top of our uh, competency centers? Is it just rebranding of the same thing? Is it a new thing? Can you elaborate a little yes, bit? Yes, of course. So for many years, we used to have a number of centers of excellence, centers of competency, and professional communities. And um, they they had different structures. They used to work maybe with different agendas and objectives. And we realized that we have certain examples of uh, groups that work very well. And uh, they deliver high quality insights, prototypes, they have a very good understanding of what's out there on the technology perspective. And we realized, yeah, let's reuse these best practices and let's invest more. Let's build something bigger than what we have now. So it's an evolution of our center of excellence and competences into labs. This is uh, um, revitalizing those communities that were looking for inspiration and this is enablement of those communities that were already in a good shape. We just give them more autonomy to deliver more. So why is the new name then? Why not just keep uh, calling it competency, competency centers? Or, or You see, yeah, uh, this is you see what you just did. Um, naming is one of the biggest problems in IT. And with labs, we want to have something short, something that will actually deliver value and explain what it is, and do not sound too formal, too complicated. And yeah, it, there's something that um, has to address the name, the purpose, without be synthetically too scientific, for example, or to be very formal. So, so it, it, it follows a certain trend in the industry, if I get it correctly, right? It is. Yeah, it is. So uh, how it happened before, uh, and even we as a company, we help our clients to design and shape. We provide this advisory and consultancy so our clients can build their own centers of excellence internally around cloud, around AI in particular. And um, in many examples, in many organizations, these groups are tasked, tasked with internal operational problems, first of all. Our labs, they are different. And in the trajectory, what is happening in the industry is, uh, yeah, those groups that um, for some time were working on uh, addressing questions now are in position to actually look into the, you know, see what's out there, what are the trends, what is emerging, and this is just next step in the uh, in the evolution. If you if you kind of break everything down into its components, um, what would our clients get from working with labs? So it's kind of clear when you say this is our center of excellence or center of competence, uh, that's where experts sit. And uh, is this message still the same with labs or we're adding some additional spin on top of it? So yeah, um, regarding experts, yes. Our labs, these are groups where experts work, they grow, and we get them together so they have this community to discuss their problems, um, challenges, to talk to clients and, and represent what we know. They, they, they still stand behind how we work with clients. But there are certain new components. And the first of all is, um, I, I already mentioned autonomy several times, is we recognize that certain labs, they are so technologically advanced and they have a lot of ex expertise in real projects in real life they are in the position to actually talk to other companies establish partnership relationships with them whether it's product whether it's platform companies and to work on problems together can whether you can you 
couple of examples. Sure, of course. So uh, look into the um, cloud, for example, cloud and DevOps. In, um, so this is one of the labs that we have. So this group has a relationship with a company called Harness. And this is a partnership relationship, meaning that we uh, we work with the company to understand what's out there, what is coming, what are the best practices in the field, and how a product company like Hardness with multiple um, products and tools in their portfolio, how they look at um, the market and how they talk to clients. We run POCs, we work on joint materials together, we host workshops, and then when we approach our clients, Harness might be one of the tools that we have blu blueprints with, and this is something that we can very easily start and we can bring both the technology and the expertise of integrating and implementing solutions on top of it. And we also can show, uh, we invest heavily into prototyping and research ourselves. So um, we can run multiple different R&Ds in parallel at the same time, compare results, and then when clients come to, uh, to these labs, we're not starting from scratch. We already have context, we already have numbers, we already have results that we can show. And um, if there are certain requirements or question from the client before diving into another R&D or research, we can actually evaluate what we've already done and maybe this change or not the, the upcoming research or uh, the challenge. Interesting. So. Would it would it be suitable for any clients, uh, or or we should target just particular type of clients with um, uh, with labs? Uh, new or existing clients are welcome, but I would also encourage that uh, partners can also work with our labs, um, because of course every company is developing something new, and our labs are in the in the position to actually match the ideas with what we see on the market. At the same time, engineers and experts, we think about labs as a place where individuals can grow. This is our way to accumulate the best, the smartest. And it's not only for clients or partners or business um, context. It is also for engineers and uh, future leaders to join the company, to actually join these labs and be in the environment that, that they like, that they want to work with be on the bleeding edge of technology and, and drive their thought leadership. So it's both targeted at external and internal customers in, yeah. in, in a way. I was talking about POCs and technology and research during this interview, but sometimes it is the technology is not the most complex problem. Sometimes it is processes. They, they, the legacy, it is about people and how to manage the project. So our certain labs, they are not about coding and, you, you know, the, the change requests and, and blueprints. Some of our labs are built around the excellence in how we actually drive com complex projects and programs, methodologies and lessons learned and tools that we can use when we work with clients um, in different complex setting, whether it's uh, an enterprise with um, many different departments and competing interests, whether it's an emerging company that has a lot of opportunities and, and need to focus on something. We can talk about product development. We can talk about how we try these programs. And we also have labs for that. So it's not only about the, the techie part. It's also about the secret sauce of how to do a project. So in a way, labs is an answer to the fact that technology is becoming commoditized and uh, it's not really a question about what technology exactly you're using. It's how it fits the business process and how it answers the uh, the business challenges. It is. It is true, yes. And there is always a beginning. That every project has milestones in the end. And what's happening is in between it, it's what make, makes state art different and unique. And uh, we try to put together our thoughts, uh, best practices, what we learned from similar engagements to ensure the success of these relationships. We just talked about labs. This is an emerging thing and more details and news are coming. Uh, please stay tuned. And uh, we do have a landing page, datar.com slash labs. Please feel free to reach out and see what's out there. Excellent. 
Thanks very much, Yuri. Much appreciated. Sure.